Welcome to a new in the mail, the favorite of the audience, and in this episode we're going to see both electronics and non-electronics items. I'm going to start with the electronics item, so if you're not interested in seeing the other cool stuff, it would be easy for you to skip since they're grouped. First item on my list is this PT001 vlog screen, and this is a pretty cool gadget. It has this 4-inch screen, well 3.97 to be more precise, it's 480 by 800 pixels resolution, so that's a pretty decent pixel density. The screen brightness is rated for 300 candles, and it also includes a battery inside this package. But what's super nice is that you can wirelessly connect your phone to mirror the image to the screen, and I find that pretty awesome. Additionally, this specific model also has the MagSafe magnets integrated on the back, so it will gracefully attach to the back of your phone if you have an iPhone, giving you a view of your camera preview while shooting videos, pictures, whatever. But since the wireless mirroring technology is pretty universal, you're not limited to just that. I believe uh, you can also mirror your computer screen or from an Android device. Although, if you're mirroring from a computer screen, at that point the size of the screen does become an important limitation. Like I said, this thing even includes a built-in battery, so you can run it off that. I don't know what the battery life is, what you're going to be getting out of that internal battery. I haven't tested it for that long, but there is also this um, uh, USB Type-C uh, to supply it with external power and for charging the internal battery and for charging the internal battery to extend that runtime. But there's even more. Uh, it can do even a wired screen mirroring over USB-C with this port. Although I think you need an iPhone 15 and up uh, to do that and I don't have one to test. Inside the box you also get this uh, small uh, magnetic mount which also attaches to the magnets on, on the back. You get this, uh, this tiny Bluetooth remote which is useful as a remote trigger for your camera and additionally there are a couple of USB cables and a lightning adapter inside the box and this pink soft carry pouch. Additionally, I even got this big tripod stick thing and all of this for like $33 shipped with VAT included and I think that's really good value for money especially for people like myself that produce video content. This is super helpful. The number of times I had to go back and forward to check that I'm correctly framed uh, because I'm shooting with my iPhone, this would have saved me a great deal of pain. To turn on the display, you just have to press this button and then it just takes a few seconds to boot up. It's pretty fast and it gives you instructions on how to connect to it right there on screen. Again, this is super useful because I don't even have to check the user manual to do that. And yes, you can probably tell, that, but I'm really excited about this gadget. And here it is connected to my phone and the image is, I mean, let me just remove this protective film. It is a glossy screen. So here you can see exactly the image that I'm seeing on my phone right now with the video recording app. I mean, the image is not going to be comparable to the one you get on your smartphone, but it's perfectly usable in terms of colors and resolution and brightness. I mean, for the type of content that I produce, it's perfectly usable, nothing to complain here. And then depending on the seller, uh, these can be found for between $30 and $60 on AliExpress, but I will try to link some good offers for you in the description below, so do check them out. Next item on my list, I have this ultra long battery life AirTag case. So you take your Apple AirTag, which normally uses a CR2032 battery inside, and that will typically last you, you know, about 12 months on average is what I noticed on mines. And you take out the CR2032 and you stick the AirTag in here, in this new case, which uses two AA batteries to give you an extra long battery life of up to 10 years, they claim. So let's run some numbers real quick on this. Now the capacity rating for a good CR2032 battery like a Varta will be around 230 milliamp hours. Now for uh, a Varta AA that should be about 2400 milliamp hours because the two will go in series. So that indeed will give you about a 10x increase over the original 12 month. 
Of course, there is some self-discharge happening over that time period, which may or may not be relevant in this case, but it's clearly a viable solution. The enclosure is IP69 rated and indeed there is a rubber seal in there in orange color. It feels pretty sturdy so I think this can keep your air tags safe in the harshest conditions. There's even some padding on the side so if there's like vibrations it won't the batteries or the, the air tag won't be disturbed inside the enclosure and I just like the way they designed this fake CR2032 battery in here. It's just the enclosure of a CR2032 32 battery to act as the connector delivering power to the air tag in the original expected shape and size that's brilliant so do check this out i'll put a link to this in the description of the video next up i have this panel mount ethernet rj45 connector and this one comes in a round shape which should be 22 millimeters in diameter so that's easy to drill in a panel comes with the needed uh, locking nut and there is also an o-ring on here although I'm not sure how much the o-ring is gonna help you because I can pretty much see through this connector so I won't expect this to be stopping any water or dust. This is practically a pass-through connection for an RJ45 which you can nicely fit into a panel. You can find these with different ratings like this one is rated as CAT 6A and it's all plastic not designed for shielded connections but I'm sure there are some shielded options as well. Now obviously I would take the CAT 6A rating with a grain of salt because CAT 6A should have certain characteristics, should run at certain higher frequencies than um, standard CAT 6 and there's just no guarantee you're going to obtain that with a no-name connector from AliExpress. It will however be great for some hobby projects. Next up I have this USB Bluetooth uh, 5.4 dongle and yes it's the year 2025 and I'm still buying a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, there is one specific need I, uh, I want this for. I have a desktop computer that I still keep for Windows only apps and that computer does not have built-in Bluetooth and I would like the ability to use a Bluetooth mouse and switch between two computers. So that's why I got this one. But unfortunately, I can't confirm it's working for that purpose because my Windows PC is being a Windows PC and has started locking up without any error or sign of what may be happening. And I can't be bothered to debug that third. I have more important stuff to work on, so this will have to wait. Um, but that's why I switched to using a Mac and I wouldn't look back if it weren't for a couple specific electronics engineering apps that just don't have a Mac version yet. Next up I have this small clear plastic enclosure and this is typically used to house some USB related projects because it does have a cutout that fits USB type A ports and I just wanted to evaluate this for a recent project I did but I ended up using I believe a Hammond enclosure from Mauser just because it was slightly bigger, could fit more inside of it and it was easier to source than this one from AliExpress. But I just thought I'd show this because it might still be useful for some of you looking for a small USB project enclosure. Next up I have some copper strip. This should be 1 meter long, 5 millimeter in width, 0.5 millimeter in thickness, 99.99% pure copper strip. And I got this because I'm experimenting with ways to increase the current carrying capability of PCB tracks. And one way to do it is to bump the copper weight with your PCB fab house, but that gets expensive quickly. Another way to do it is to have openings in your solder mask and just add solder on top. Now the downside to that is the inconsistency. Another way to do it is just to add some thick copper jumpers along the high current paths. That's nice because it can be included easily in the PCB assembly process as the jumpers can be surface mount and soldered through a standard reflow process. The downside to that is that those types of jumpers are not typically a standard part and they're not typically stocked with the major distributors. So I thought I could experiment with cutting you know, small strips of this and soldering it to my high current tracks for my prototype PCBs. Haven't tested my idea yet, but um, I think this is very uh, useful to have in the electronics lab. Next up, I got myself a um, digital spirit level. And while this can be useful for general purpose and you know a variety of tasks around the workbench, my intention was to build something like a custom steering wheel alignment tool where I could design in 3D print an attachment that would hold this and I could attach that to the actual steering wheel inside the car and use it for wheel alignment purposes. 
I know there are special purpose tools available even on AliExpress. They sell for like $75. Um, some of the better ones upwards of 100 but I felt that's a little too much for something that I will use once or twice and thought it would be a fun little weekend project to just design and 3d print uh, uh, a special mechanism for this now the shop where I usually go for wheel alignment it's a local shop just does a visual check of the steering wheel level and I'm not happy with that result even if I don't get to build this project this is still a useful tool to have in my toolbox as it is. Next up, I purchased a couple of these thermometer hygrometer devices with a tiny screen. Uh, these are useful for monitoring the environment or, for example, useful if you put inside airtight containers that you use for keeping your 3D printing filament dry. These are cheap and decently accurate. They do come with a battery inside when they ship. However, the one that this one which I turned on roughly a month ago when I first received these has already died at my workbench so I had to replace its battery so I would advise you to be prepared with some good replacement batteries uh, if you order these it uses the LR1130 uh, battery type same as always uh, a link for these will be in the description of the video and that was probably my last electronics uh, item because my next item is this canister of desiccant this is two pounds so just under one kilogram and it's the reusable type which changes color from orange to dark green depending on the water contents if we look on the back it uh, explains that you know orange means the uh, beads are still active dark green means it needs reactivation and the way you reactivate it is by baking it in the oven and it gives some indication of the temperatures and the time needed to do that i got this off amazon and i plan to use it to keep my 3d printing filament dry in storage but also potentially for other purposes related to storing electronic components i don't want to break the seal uh, on this canister right now to show you but i specifically searched for a model which has the round bead type and not the small crushed rock type so these are the round beads of two to four millimeters in size and uh, one important thing to mention is that i will not be putting these in my home slash food oven because i don't know what chemicals they use for these and i don't want to take the risk I will just be baking these in my SMT Reflow oven. Next up, I saw this interesting folding picnic chair and I just had to order one. It comes in this super small carry bag when it's folded, but when you unfold it, it can totally turn into a usable picnic chair. And you can keep this packed in the trunk of your car. And when the time comes, you will be able to pull this out and have a nice chair to sit on. Now they claim this can hold 120 kilograms. I don't know what to say about that. I'm only about 75 kilograms myself and I would have no worry if you're in this range, but 120 might be stretching it. And another related item is this portable survival uh, emergency bag. And unlike these simple thin foil type ones, this one they claim is reusable at the expense of uh, using up a little more space in your uh, backpack. It comes in this bright um, orange uh, ripstop carry bag and inside we get something which you know looks a lot like the standard foil ones the gold ones but I think this one is a little bit thicker they do claim this is 26 micrometers thick and on a quick google search apparently the standard gold ones are just 12 micrometers in thickness now the size of the blanket as shown in this image is 213 by 91 centimeters but it's this bag shape so that means it can be much more effective at insulating you trapping heat you can even sleep inside of it and as a bonus you also get this um, tiny survival whistle included on the on the strap so overall feels like good value for money next up i have a couple of surf hats with uv protection i know summer is over here in europe but i can always use these next summer when i go kite surfing uh, this one is the beach cap type with a protection factor of 50 for UV and it has the mandatory chin strap uh, because without that it can fly off my head either due to wind or during a crash. This comes in a couple more colors as well. Now the other one is the more classic uh, hat shape and again has the same UV protection factor of 50 
and the obligatory chin strap. I got the bright orange color for this one and it's not because I like orange <laughs> but because it's always good to be visible on the water especially if you fall in the water. Now the reason I'm getting these from um, AliExpress is because locally they're nowhere to be found and online these sell for absurd amounts of money when you factor in shipping from some remote destination. But I got you, links for these will be in the description below so you can order some of these affordable ones too. Next up I got a set of these PVC plastic tags. These are very thin, the size is 5 by 9 centimeters. They come in a variety of colors and the idea is that you can write on these using something like a permanent or paint marker and then attach these using a zip tie to something you wish to label. Now with the tag being PVC and using a permanent marker this can hopefully survive humidity and potentially even uh, ultraviolet light. Next up this randomly showed up while I was browsing AliExpress and it's a tool that can fit your standard hexagonal mount on your uh, hand drill and allows you to effectively screw or unscrew butterfly type nuts but not just that because the type that I was particularly interested to using this on is the round hook screw type attachment. If screwed inside hard wall, those can be quite difficult to screw in by hand. However, with this tool, you should be able to drive those in using the hand drill. Again, one of those weird uh, tool adjustment, tool attachments that you're only going to use a few times, but when you need it, it really makes your life much easier. Next up, I got one of these cheap, but effective gadget cleaning brushes and this one works particularly well for your smartphone like the USB connector, the earphone, the microphone. It has this um, soft end and then on the other end it has this brush and the pointy metal end uh, which is all you need for a quick clean of your phone. I found out about these nifty arrow label stickers when I received the product at some point and it was sealed with one of these uh, things in a bag. And these come in green and red, at least from the seller that I got them from. They're 45 by 20 millimeter in size. And the trick is they only are partially covered in adhesive. So the user can easily grab the non-adhesive part and open the packaging, pulling on it uh, as a tab. Now I used to improvise this type of opening with regular adhesive tape folded on its end. Uh, but I was happy to find these ready-made stickers with the arrows on them, uh, pointing the user to the right tab to pull. And the last two items in my video, a couple of car detailing accessories. I got this spray bottle which is chemically resistant, has a uh, wide base for good stability, has a uh, clear uh, level indicator with markings and doesn't cost an arm and a leg. And I also got this uh, small short handle but uh, heavy duty stiff brush useful for cleaning interior carpet or floor mats. Even without using a cleaning agent, this stuff will effectively remove dirt from a uh, carpet, uh, sometimes much more effective than a vacuum cleaner. That was all for today. I can't fit all of the items because they're quite big for the ending scene. But thank you for watching and as always, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you found something useful to order in this mailbag video. Until next time, take care.